Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, I want to share with you a story today that sent chills down my spine. Now, a couple days ago, I returned home from a work trip. But uh, before I came home, when I was at the airport, I wanted to grab uh, like a little sandwich and just a water to take with me on the plane. So at the airport I was in, I came to this store and I could see they had a ton of things in there, you know, drinks and food. So I tried to enter, but I couldn't enter because as you can see, this is a, uh, what you're seeing on the screen here is a good example of what I ran into. So it was kind of like barricaded um, and I couldn't get in and there was a guy working there and he's, I said, can I, I just want to get in here and just grab a drink and food and I just want to be on my way. He said, oh, you can't get in here unless you scan your palm. Uh, you have to have an Amazon one and scam your palm to be able to get in. And I said, well, I'm not doing that. Uh, and I do not have an Amazon one account or whatever. And he's like, well, the only other way you're going to be able to get in here is if you scan your credit card. So either I had to scan my palm over this thing. And there was a lot of people just scanning their palm and walking in here and grabbing whatever they needed. I said, I'm not doing it. I said, okay, well, if you're not going to do it, you have to enter in your car, your credit card right here. So I said, whatever. So I entered in my credit card and I walked in. So I grabbed a water and like a little wrap sandwich and like another snack. And as I'm leaving, I'm looking for the register. There isn't one in there. So I look at the guy and I said, well, where do I pay? He says, oh, you don't. You put your credit card in before you came here. Every time you pick something up in here, the QR code, um, there's a device that automatically scans it. You're going to be emailed your receipt. And I was like, say, say that again? So I put my credit card in before I even walked into this place. And everything that I picked up... Um, there was a QR code on it and there was a, you know, a device in the room that was able to scan the QR code as I was walking around. Probably about 20 minutes or so later, I had received an email with the receipt. Now, folks, I've been in places where people were using Amazon One to pay for the, scanning their palm over the reader and they were paying their bills that way. Um, but I've never been to a place that denied me entry. They were saying, look, you're, it's barricaded. This place was barricaded off. They said, you're not getting in here unless you scan your palm over this palm reader. And as soon as I said I didn't have an Amazon One uh, whatever, and I'm not going to scan my palm, they said, well, okay, the only other way you're going to get in here, again, is you're going to have to put your credit card in. A couple years ago, we saw this Amazon One palm reader come out. And at that time, we saw places were doing like test runs. They were doing trials. But now it's going live all over the place. In fact, I just came across this this morning from Prophecy Newswatch, a recent article titled, Amazon Expands Pay by Palm, Another Precursor to the Mark of the Beast? Question mark. The first part of the article says, Amazon announced Thursday it is rolling out its pay by palm services to all 500 Whole Foods market stores across the country, the entire United States, making it possible for customers to use their palm for purchases without a wallet or phone. So now, no matter what Whole Foods market store you go into, this is now in every single one across the entire United States of America, you're gonna see these. This is not just happening at Whole Foods. I mean, I've been to several different airports now just over the past couple of years that have this Amazon One Pay By Palm service. Um, and other stores, not just in the United States, but all over the world, have brought forth not just Amazon One, but other pay by palm services. But what really sent chills down my spine was when I tried to get into this place and it was barricaded and they told me I was not getting in unless I waved my palm over that Amazon One palm reader. And when I said I ain't doing it, well then they said, okay, well then the only other way you're getting in here, again, is if you put your card in. And of course I put my card in and I'm trying to leave and I want to cash out or pay my bill. Uh, oh, you don't have to do that because everything you picked up, there's a QR code and it was automatically scanned by this device. The main point I am trying to make folks is a couple years ago, we, say the, we saw these pay by palm services. They were doing a lot of trials and test runs, but now it's live. It's live all over the world and they're trying to force it upon you. So they're trying to like, you see here again, put barricades up uh, to kind of, um, encourage you to be a part of this Amazon One so you can uh, pay your bill 
with your palms. And this again, this is going worldwide. It's not just Whole Foods. It's not just in the United States. You're starting to see this pop up everywhere. And the reason this is huge and very significant in regards to the pages of end times Bible prophecy is we know, according to the book of Revelation chapter 13, after the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ, when the Antichrist, so the rapture happens, the Antichrist will be revealed, the tribulation period will begin. During the coming tribulation period, which we are not in yet, there will be a system in place that will be able to track and monitor every single human on the planet. And it's going to be a system that's going to be able to control all buying and selling. And when you go to the book of Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 to 18, we read this. And he, this is referring to the uh, future false prophet, who's going to basically be the right-hand man of the future Antichrist. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score and six. Or simply put, six, six, six. So there's coming a time during this coming tribulation period, which we are not in yet, where there's going to be a system in place, again, that will be able to track and monitor every single human on the planet. And if you want to be able to buy or sell or go about your everyday life, there's going to be something that they try to put in your right hand or in your forehead. This is called the mark of the beast. And you're not going to be able to buy or sell or go about your everyday life without the mark of the beast. What are people use, starting to use right now to pay their bills? Well, there's something in their palm. They're waving their palm over the reader so that they can pay their bills. So what we're seeing is a forerunner to the mark of the beast. We aren't there yet, but we are heading in that direction. And all I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you do not have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world at everything occurring right now and look at what the Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood so that you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, again, paying your sin debt in full that you could never pay on your own. He paid it with his blood. You're believing he died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin debt that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with them forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ... You will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. 
And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming, and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.